There is fluid which leaves the arterial end of a capillary, but does not re-enter the venule end of a capillary. Once this enters lymphatic vessels, it is called lymph. This fluid may enter into lymphatic capillaries which are close-ended, so they have a distinct end. Lymphatic capillaries fuse to form larger and larger vessels, such as lymphatic collecting vessels, which will fuse to make larger vessels known as lymphatic trunks. Ultimately, lymphatic vessels empty into the brachiocephalic vein, where the jugular and subclavian veins meet, and thus the fluid which left a capillary uh, in a tissue is then returned to the circulatory system at the brachiocephalic vein. As skeletal muscles contract around veins to help propel the blood in veins towards the heart, these same muscle contractions help to propel lymph through lymphatic vessels. Just as the muscular contractions which result in inhalation brings blood closer to the heart, this same process brings lymph closer to its end point at the brachiocephalic vein. So skeletal muscle contractions and the process of inhalation helps to move lymph. Just as veins possess valves to stop blood from going in the wrong direction, lymphatic vessels have valves to prevent lymph from going in the wrong direction.